Now we're looking at some serious firepower. Just can't get enough of that good home cooking, can he? Knocks him into an uneasy sleep. What's he thinking? Well, let me see if I got this straight. I only heard it once. Once there was a normal Ura girl, but she wasn't born in the Tazzel terminals like the rest of her people. She was from Ceylandia. Her folks were orphaned in the war taken in and raised inside the city, on condition they would never return to the terminals. Ura refugees who came into the city had to stay for life. It was a way to reduce the risk of city secrets leaking out. Mama passed away from burthen complications, leaving the girl trapped inside that city with no one but her father. father was sharper than a brusher's pike, so he got a job working for the city's mansers. His daughter barely saw him. father told her nothing of her Ura heritage. He told her nothing of the Mansers. It's for your own good, he said. She took to studying the arts, learned more through music than history books, gained a knack for strings and songs. At 
first, she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ur traitor, selling out the city. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. Her to take him to her family den to meet her father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. <laughs> The young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tazzle terminals. They would hide inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag, then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal. were already there when that scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the authorities a tip, told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazzle terminals. father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free.
Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. she was told, and deep down underground inside that den, she found a journal written in her father's hand. saw the calamity all around her. When the kid wakes up, his world still in pieces, just the way he left it. Kid takes a little personal time for just him and his favorite musket. Plenty of gores to go around. Even now. Marshals like to fine tune their muskets to get better results. The best of the best to clear the course in just a few shots. He probably could have made himself marshal one day. triggers, my brothers, 
bravest men I ever knew. I've asked a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own.